If you are spraying pre-treatment manually, it's recommended to pre-treat in an open area or outdoor area. The spray gun can be noisy and produces overspray. No airflow, strong airflow can cause uneven spray patterns. Before we get started, let's take a look at our spray gun. First, we want our nozzle to be facing horizontally like this photo. This will allow me to spray left to right or right to left. You can loosen the yellow housing around it and rotate it and then lock it back in place. Next, let's look at our trigger. We have to adjust our flow knob so it doesn't output too much pre-treatment. Sometimes straight out of the box, the flow knob is set to the highest amount and this will cause us to overspray the shirt. Turn the knob counterclockwise or towards the minus sign to reduce the flow. It should look something like mine. Next, when we start to spray, we have to make sure we pull the trigger all the way back. If we only pull the trigger a bit, the fan will start to flow air, but no liquid will flow out. This is a common mistake that beginners make, so just make sure we pull the trigger all the way back when we start. I will also be spraying on a table with a shirt laying flat. This helps me stack multiple shirts at a time. When we start to spray, make sure your spray gun is facing straight down. You don't want to add an angle. Our spray gun should be 12 to 15 inches away from the shirt. If we are too close to the shirt, it will oversaturate quickly. And if we're too far away, the shirt won't saturate fast enough. I will also be spraying in rows. I will spray one row, then move my way down. And when I'm spraying the next row, I will be slightly overlapping the first row to avoid any dry areas. So let's begin. Remember to hold the gun straight down, about 12 to 15 inches away. Nice steady motion across. On my next row, I'm slightly overlapping the first row. Once I'm done, I will use my squeegee to further press the pre-treatment into the garment. Now let's begin drying our pre-treat. First our heat press will be set at 330 degrees and we will use a medium to medium heavy pressure. The first step is to hover. Here I'll hover the heat press for 15 to 30 seconds. And next we will begin by pressing the shirt 20 to 30 seconds and I'll do this twice or until it's fully dry. So first I'm going to hover over the shirt. If you have the Geonite heat press with the auto pop-up feature, you will have the hover feature where the heat plan will lock in hover mode. If your heat press doesn't have this feature, you will have to hold it manually. During this step, the heat plan is sitting one to two inches away from the garment. This helps prevent crystallization, which can appear as a large burn mark. Once we're done hovering, we'll begin to press the shirt. Always use a heat press sheet. Here I'm using a Stahl's craft sheet. Now this sheet we are using for pre-treatment, you should only be using it for pre-treatment. Over time, a layer of pre-treat residue will build up on the sheet. And if we try to press a printed shirt with this, we can start transferring this residue onto our shirts. There's a couple of things you want to avoid when you're pre-treating. First, it's going to be pretty obvious you want to avoid overspraying. You know, spraying too much will result in staining. Uh, the pre treat area will also dry thick and will have a starch-like feel. Uh, you can also get crystallization, which will burn a noticeable pre treat area on your shirt. Uh, and this burn mark may or may not wash off. A uh, second is don't mix up your pre treat liquids. The light pre treatment only works for white shirts and will not work for dark shirts.